Hello, KubeCon. Adit and I are super excited to be here today to talk to you about a new frontier for Kubernetes network security. Uh, before we talk about new frontiers, though, let's talk a little bit about the existing landscape for Kubernetes security. As long as there has been Kubernetes, there has been ingress. But ingress has emerged as more than just getting traffic into the cluster. Ingress gateways have become the go-to mechanism for implementing security, observability, and advanced routing into workloads running in your Kubernetes cluster. The community loved this approach so much that we said, hey, let's grab that gateway that's so awesome at north-south, and I want that for service-to-service -service interactions as well. So let's bring that gateway into the east-west traffic plane and put it in a sidecar, and that became Service Mesh. Thousands of organizations have been successful implementing the Service Mesh pattern, but that has not been without challenges from a UX and resource consumption perspective. So if we look at healthy and vibrant projects in this ecosystem, they're constantly evolving and innovating. And the Istio project did exactly that, creating a sidecarless architecture that brings L4 security, observability, and routing to every workload in Kubernetes without the need for a sidecar. And this works great for L4 traffic. But L7 is a whole nother ballgame, right? So security, scalability, L7 feature set all require a gateway, but we don't need a sidecar for that. What we need is the ability to dynamically provision individual micro gateways in the east-west traffic plane only for services that require L7 features. And this entire vision coming to reality in MBN Mesh, where Solo and Google forced and recreated ambient mesh and pushed the implementation upstream to the STL community. With ambient, you are getting the entire feature of STL, but way simpler way and to adopt and, and also less overhead. And ambient is not an idea anymore. It's reality. It's here. It's real, it's GA, and we actually have quite a lot of users running it in production today. And even more important, their reviews are stunning. In order to make it extremely easy for all of you to adopt MBN, we created a community website. There you can find everything you need, all the way from getting started to production, I really, really recommend you to check it out. All right, and if you want to hear more about the journey of the Istio community from its very beginnings to Ambient Mesh going GA, Christian and Louie have an amazing talk this afternoon. Definitely check it out. All right, so we talked about how important gateways are for ingress, how important they are for service-to-service -service interactions uh, for L7. If we actually like, go underneath the hood or pull back the covers there and look about the implementation, the underlying implementation of that is Envoy Proxy. Envoy is the obvious choice here. It's the most mature, performant, and scalable data plane proxy in the cloud native ecosystem. And even though Envoy is the de facto standard for data plane proxies, we know that every amazing data plane needs an awesome control plane to complement it. And so six years ago, Solo, introduced the Glue open source project to solve this exact gap in the ecosystem. Glue provided a Kubernetes native control plane and declarative API to program Envoy Proxy as the data plane. This filled a key gap and the community exploded immediately, growing to hundreds of contributors and thousands of community users. So we, the engineer, why are we doing everything we do? Why are we actually joining all here forces and innovating and contributing in the open source? I feel that the only reason that we're actually doing it is because we want people to use our software, right? We want everybody to use our software. We want our software everywhere. And with Glue, it's actually happened. Today, Glue running thousands of environment production as a tier zero application. So, okay. 
You're probably using it every day. You probably do not know that, but you're using it every day when you're swiping your credit card, when you're checking your bank account, when you're ordering some fast food, and even when you're buying your brand new iPhone. You're all using Glue. So that's kind of like beg the question. If Glue is a robust, super rich, scalable, mature implementation of API gateway, cloud native API gateway, why it's not a de facto standard in the industry, in the community? And for that, there is only one reason for that. And that reason is open government. So what I was thinking, what if we are going to fix it right now here on stage? What if we are going to contribute it glue as an incubation project to the CNCF under the name of Kate's Gateway? So I'm going to do it right now. I have the pull request ready. <laughs> and all you need to do is to click the button. And basically, it's a feature. That's amazing, Adit. We're looking forward to working with all of you in the Kate's Gateway community. All right, so one traffic pattern we haven't addressed yet is the concept of egress. Why? Well, honestly, egress classically has been very important. We want to control the workloads running in Kubernetes, what they access outside the cluster, right, and the public internet. But it's been boring, right? It's basically L3, L4 policy, audibility, NAT. Um, any firewall, CNI, egress gateway can handle that. But there's a new, and you've definitely heard about it at this event, this new class of use cases and workloads coming to Kubernetes around Gen AI that existing egress gateways and firewalls cannot solve with L3 and L4 features. These features, such as uh, prompt management, guardrails, semantic caching, RAG, semantic analysis, they completely go beyond. They require L7 layer intelligence and above. It requires a new class of solution. To address this gap, we introduced earlier this year Glue AI Gateway that builds the features I just talked about as direct extensions to Envoy Proxy that allows you to use existing you know, de facto standard gateway and uh, de facto standard data plane proxies with AI features built on top. And just to be clear, this is not another AI marketing announcement. And this is not another initiative that you will go and check the reports and find out that it's empty. This is a real robust, production-ready API gateway. AI gateway, with all the functionality that you will love. So what we're hoping, the beautiful of all of this, is that the entire solution of it is going to become upstream as part of the contribution of the Kate's gateway. So you will get all that in production-ready feature of the AI as part of the Kate's gateway open source project. I would love if you will be able to join us, the community, learn everything that we worked with our customer for the last two years on AI use case, learn the use case, help us get with the new ones, and actually make the gateway better. I have a talk later today at 11 that actually is going to be, have way more time to talk about that features of the AI gateway. There we're going to double down on the use case, the, the, the implementation, and tons of demo. I would love if you would join us. Sorry, I had a hair trigger there on the <laughs> clicker. All right, so to summarize, um, today we talked about some groundbreaking community announcements around three distinct use cases, ingress, east-west, and egress. Three distinct use cases that we believe have a common solution pattern that we call Omni Gateway. Omni Gateway is about a consistent and uniform approach to gateway use cases across ingress, egress, and east-west. More importantly, with the contribution of K8's gateway to the CNCF, Kubernetes users can now implement the Omni Gateway pattern using open source and open standards that are all part of the CNCF. 
All right, look, we're out of time, and we have so much more to say to you. Please come by our booth. We have great swag, okay? If you want to get hands-on with the technologies we talked about today, we have some cool labs that you can try it yourself. All the experts in the communities, our engineers, Adit and I will be there. We want to talk to you more. There's book signings, the whole nine yards. So thanks very much for your time, and look forward to seeing you at the booth.